hello beautiful people how are you doing today i hope you're good today let's make this nigerian buka stew this stew is so so delicious these are the proteins i'll be using i use goat meat and momo and i'll add it into my pot let me show you how i wash my momo because some people complain there are lots of sand in their momo they don't like their momo so i'll add in the momo into my bowl of warm water and i'll bring in salt and i'll use either knife or iron sponge and i'll be scrubbing it out just like you see me do that way i'll remove all the sand any smell and you have very nice for more and back to our meat i added in grated onions ginger and garlic and i brought in some dry thyme leaves and i also brought in salt and some seasoning cubes and i'm going to break up the seasoning cubes now we are going to mix this to combine properly we are going to mix this in such a way that all these ingredients added will be infused into the meat and we'll not be adding any water to start cooking this meat we are going to cook it on medium heat for up to 10 minutes and after 10 minutes this is what it looks like it has generated its own fluid lots of water and now i'm going to top it up with water to be at the same level with the meat and i'll mix this so that the water will go around the meat and we're going to cover it and cook it till it's tender and as we wait for the meat to cook here i have some onions garlic and ginger and we're going to break this we're going to blend this without water this adds lots of flavors into our buka stew and we're going to set this aside and next here i have the fresh tomatoes i have shambor i have the peppers and i've removed the seeds from the shambor so that it wouldn't give me a somewhat bitter taste and i'm going to also blend this without water i'm going to blend this till it's very smooth and i'll also set that aside and back to our meat i use the male goat if you followed my channel you know i prefer cooking with the male goat it cooks faster than the female goat and our meat has cooked tender enough you can take a bite of one or you can press it to check if yours is tender enough if it's not yet tender you have to cook it till when it's tender enough and in a dry pot and heat i added in some vegetable oil we will allow the oil to get hot enough and i brought in the grated ginger garlic and onions and we are going to stir this for about three minutes on medium heat this will release all the sweetness into the oil you can also use palm oil or bleached palm oil and after three minutes i brought in the blended peppers and tomatoes and now we are going to start frying this we'll fry this for up to 20 minutes and this is going to scatter all over your kitchen so what i do is to cover it halfway with the cover of the pot that way it wouldn't splatter all over and occasionally you're going to stir this and i brought in bay leaves and we'll stir this and still cover it again till this fries very well if you want to make the nigerian stew where the oil doesn't splatter all over your burner i have a recipe on that i'll link it up and when you get to this point where the oil is sifting up that tells you that our stew is almost ready and now i brought in curry powder i also brought in some dry thyme leaves and i brought in some seasoning cubes also we are going to break this up we are going to stir this for all these ingredients to combine properly and now i'll check for my seasoning if it's in the right proportion i always say that your seasoning and your salt should be proportional to the quantity of food you're cooking if you're not sure you add a little for time and adjust as you cook along mine was perfect remember a glory homemaker we give you value for your time and now let's introduce the meat into the stew you can also grill your protein you can also use fish you can grill it you can cook it whichever way you prefer it is up to you and i also brought in the stock from the meat we're going to mix this thoroughly to combine properly and one last time i checked for my salt and seasoning and i needed to add in a little salt which i did 
and we're going to stir this and we'll cover this to simmer for between three to five minutes and our stew is ready this is the type of stew you can use to eat your ewedu your bakery or amala you can also use it for rice or for beans or for whichever you prefer and trust me this is so so delicious i want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to you all my subscribers thank you for checking out my videos you all make my day worthwhile and please if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like and share my videos and get amazing content like this someone on your timeline might just need this video thank you for watching and see you in my next video